Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got our co-host with us, Miss Portia Williams, and we got some special guests. We, got, we got Tammy yeah. Roman and what's Remy Ma. Yeah. What's good? What's good? What up, Rem? What up, Tammy? What's up? What's Big Remy, not the little one. That's right. What up, Tammy? Hi, Charlemagne. <laughs> what's happening? How are you? I'm blessed, black, and highly favored, man. I feel it. Y'all up here promoting movies and stuff? Yes, you know how we do. We got a new one on uh, Lifetime called Girl, Girl in, in the, the Closet, Closet mm -hmm. which is coming March 11th at 8 on Lifetime. I yeah. love Lifetime. Everybody loves Lifetime. Like, yes. if you didn't grow up watching Lifetime, I don't know, I don't know how to feel about you. Yeah, and they're bringing <laughs> more of us on there. It's yeah. about That's, time. It's about time. Because I've been watching white people stories for right. a long time. Right. <laughs> What's the movie about? So it's uh, based on actual events mm -hmm. of this uh, woman who um, lost her daughter to the, and put her daughter in the custody of her sister, who is a very abusive and toxic individual who takes people and um, basically kidnaps them for their disability checks and real, social security checks. Like, what is basically, it? Listen, no. <laughs> my kid get took in by my psycho sister. She's mm -hmm. crazy as hell. They picked Tammy to play. She plays the <laughs> amazing role mm -hmm. of she, the perfect psych psychosis, mm -hmm. psychotic huh? maniac. She's prostituting people. <laughs> she's kidnapping them, stealing checks. Yeah, she's I'm like doing the a lot. ultimate scammer on, on every level. And yes. I'm like the heartbroken you, trying to find my kids. She like. plays my sister, um, whose daughter I end up kidnapping. And we've never seen Remy like this before because this character is so soft. <laughs> so <and> nice. <laughs> so and sweet. And, 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 and Why y'all be trying to play Remy? And, and maternal <laughs> and loving. Wow. And, <laughs> Crying. Why are we playing just... Rim like Rim don't do both? Wow. Rim has shown us both for years. Wow. Listen. Um, <laughs> what can I say? Uh, Rim is a wife, a mother. You know what I mean? And a gangster. I, I don't be understanding where does this narrative come from. I'm married you me. don't understand? I don't. I'm at 15 years. I'm about to be married 15 years. Yeah. I have uh, wonderful children. And Listen, you know, like... I heard Remy on the phone with her daughter last night. <laughs> and the daughter goes, so listen, little girl. Why you hang up on me? No, and I, the, 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 to Remy. To Remy. And I said, I wonder where she got that from. <laughs> <laughs> so, how, so how was working with Rem? Or how was working with each other, I should say? Well, here's the thing with Rem. Cool person, loving person, but when she don't want to be bothered, she don't want to be bothered. So she comes on set and it's like, hey, sis. And then maybe 30 minutes later, we're in a room with people and Remy's in the corner, like just looking mm -hmm. at everybody, like don't want to talk to nobody. <laughs> <laughs> watching everything, watching everything. I'm like, you good? She's like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. so, so everybody was scared of Remy on the yeah, set. Yeah, there was no reason to be scared. I'm just, <laughs> Tammy's a social butterfly. Mm -hmm. So she's, hi, hey, oh yeah. And one time at the ah! <laughs> like that's Tammy. And I'm in the corner like, I'm yeah, listening, she's like, but. Mm -mm. I don't know these people. You're like, I'm here to do my job. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know them. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, you know how people, you see people and they're like, yeah. oh, nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How you know that? You just met me. <laughs> right. You don't know that. But that's a good way to be. You that. can't let everybody energy in. Yeah, because people be weird. Mm -hmm. They oh, be weird. I like that. So. Have you made the intentional transition, Rim, like away from music? Like to say, I'm going to go do other things? Um, you still always an album. Not intentional. And it's on, and it's actually the 50th anniversary of hip hop. So I was like, huh, perfect time to do it. Mm -hmm. But I've also incorporated my new acting thing into mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. So you got to see when that happens. But I feel like a lot of times with artists, when they know you for doing one thing, it's hard for them to see you do anything else. They want to keep you. We only want to see you do music until mm -hmm. they see you do other things. Mm -hmm. Like when I started doing a lot of talk shows and hosts and stuff like that, oh, great, that's great, you should do that. And then when I started doing acts, it's like, oh, it's great. But when you talk about it, they're like, no, we just want an album. That's it. Right. Walk around the metal detectors. That's all they want. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. You have to show them. So that you di you disconnect on purpose then? No, it's right. not on purpose. I still do. Last year, I had to think about it. Because you know, like, mm -hmm. you have the year in wrap up. Yep. Like, what did you do this year? And I'm sitting here. I'm putting it together. Of course, I never post it because I don't post. Um... I mean, unless you pay me, then I post. But <laughs> most of my posts that I plan to post, I start mm -hmm. doing that. I write the long caption. I never post it. But I made a like reel of all the music that I did last year. Last year, I did 
um, a song with Rhapsody mm -hmm. for DJ Premier. Album. Fire, love Rhapsody. Fire, phenomenal Thank record. You. We played that. I did mm -hmm. a song um, for Prodigy's album. Mm -hmm. um, rest in peace to Prodigy. Um, I did a song with Mary J. Blige for the Good Morning Gorgeous um, mm -hmm. Deluxe album. Mm -hmm. I did two songs with Brandy when I was um, acting on Queens. Mm -hmm. They count. I don't care. We were in the studio. <laughs> we were in the count. studio. It's on Apple it's Music. Music. They count. <laughs> and I also did um, my husband's record the, um, with Wayne and 2 Chains mm -hmm. and Buster. So I'm like, I did like seven, eight features last year. I didn't do any solo projects, but in all of them, my part was the best part. I'm just saying. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> exactly. We talked about that with the two chains and pap record. Yeah, like, sorry, guys, but you got body. Remy killed it. Yeah. I mean. Well, when are we getting your solo album? Because you've been working on it for. Um, You know what I do? A couple years. I do. It's been done. It's, it's so just, what you waiting for? So what happened was when I first did it. What happened was? Yeah, what happened was when I first did it, I got pregnant. Mm -hmm. And because I did IVF and everything that we went through, mm -hmm. I put everything on hold. I'm like, I don't want to chance it. It was a lot on my body. Stressful, yeah. It was a lot on my bank account. And I was like, we want this to work. So I literally just put everything music on hold for my pregnancy and for my daughter. After I had my daughter, now I'm breastfeeding. I was like trying to be like this super cool mom. I'm going to do the breastfeeding thing for a couple of months. Mm -hmm. A couple of months turned into two years and 10 months. Like she was almost three. Mm. She was on the titty at almost three? Listen, that's why she's a genius now. <laughs> <laughs> that's why she talks to you like that. That's why she talks to you like that. She is a genius. That's a little girl. That's a little long. Yeah, she definitely did. But no, but we got in the middle of that, mm -hmm. we got caught in COVID. So it was harder to like wean her up if i was out and about it probably would have never went that long because we was in the house nobody was really going out anywhere it turned into that and then after covid i got into or well, during covid i got a lot into that we was doing state of the culture mm -hmm. then i was hosting the wendy show and i just was doing so many other things that mm -hmm. music kind of got pushed to the back i was mm -hmm. still recording music mm -hmm. still doing different things like any given time hit makers like yo what we doing like you know what i'm saying i work on music but it's just other things that kind of Push it out the way a little bit, but don't be, um, you know, don't don't try it, anybody listening. <laughs> don't. I wouldn't recommend that. The pen still works. It's same thing with you, Tammy. That's why you disconnected from reality TV just to show him like I want to get into my acting bag. I'm Tammy got so much so much thing coming down the damn pipeline. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just didn't want to do reality anymore. Mm -hmm. I wanted to go back to scripted. I felt like I had shown enough of my life. You know, mm -hmm. in, in terms of that format, you mm -hmm. know, y'all all in my business. I feel mm -hmm. like I've given it all to you. There's nothing else to say. My kids are grown. And so it's like I wanted to go back to scripted. I wanted mm -hmm. to go back to playing characters and doing the things that I love and doing unscripted in other formats, not right. that ensemble stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, you know, we got caught in the act unfaithful and that's the cheater style show and i love doing that and then all my other projects are scripted mm. so in this one it's based off of a true story correct so like you you jumped in on the deep end because when you do a movie and it's straight based on a true story you got to stay real close to the authentic story you can't yeah. be changing up or none of that like how was that for y'all how did y'all prepare for that um, but this is my second, um, the first movie I ever did mm -hmm. that I actually started was the, um, big 50 Del Ronda hood story mm -hmm. uh, based on a woman out of Detroit. And she was like super gangster. She's mm -hmm. selling drugs. She's a madam. She's yeah. doing all these different things. Mm -hmm. And it was crazy because she was actually on set while we were filming. So it was like, you don't want to portray them in a way that right. they, that's not unfavorable, that's unfavorable to them. Mm -hmm. And I think when... I felt any type of way. I would literally would go to the side like, well, right. It was like, what was it? It was like one scene where they had her talking to her kids. Mm -hmm. And just for me be being around her, I was like, I don't think she would play with these kids like this. Mm -hmm. Like the way that it was written, I was like, mm -hmm. um, if your kids, you told them to go to bed and they were still sitting there. She was like, what? I was like, yeah, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. So I would talk to the director. He's like, whatever you think, you know, to get more into the character, do that. Mm -hmm. And it was one scene where we was actually, she had a scene where um she was leaving her son. She was missing his games. And it was, I turned to her and she's like on the side crying. And I was like, I, I you really did messed it up. <laughs> I thought I messed it up. Uh -huh. She was like, because like, she was crying. Like she's a very strong woman. So crying, mm -hmm. it, it didn't look like, look like she was pissed i'm like okay i messed that up and she was like yo that was like so touching mm -hmm. so doing that really helped me with this one especially considering that the person that i'm playing 
it's such a vulnerable situation, mm-hmm. like where you have lost your child. So, yeah. you know, you have mm-hmm. to take those things into Sensitive, consideration. Yeah. Plus, I have a kid, so you just mm-hmm. factor that in. Like, how would you feel if somebody took your kid? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think nobody would play with you like that, bro. What, take people crazy. Yeah, people are nuts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. People are surprised. Yeah. People know you really like that, and they still play with you. The streets mm-hmm. have changed. <laughs> yeah, it's a different time. Now, Tammy, how do you have the time to do all the things that you have between Miss Pat show, the Unfaithful show, movies down the pipeline? Like, how do you find the time, and what gives you the drive to still want to do it? Mm, I don't sleep. I'm very much like you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, and I just go where the work is, because that's what's important to me. But that what drives me is my kids you know what i mean like i want to be able to leave my kids something because my Mm -hmm. mother didn't do it for me her mother didn't do it for her because at that time people didn't know about generational wealth Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. establishing things and leaving legacy in the red yeah Mm -hmm. you know you already behind the eight ball so for me it's just important to change that narrative for my family going forward my lineage going forward so that's what that's what motivates me I'm a get if it's work, I'm getting up and I'm doing it. I'm two hours of sleep on the plane, whatever it takes, I'm gonna be there to get the job done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I seen a story. Uh, they were talking about uh, Tammy doesn't eat, right? Right. <laughs> I eat. I, I've been on uh, <laughs> set with you. Yeah. <laughs> and I see Tammy eat. Yeah, there's I juices. Eat. There's food. I'm like, I'm like, where is it coming from? Does that ever bother you? Because people would just make up their own stories, their own rumors. But me being on set, I'm like, no, she eats. She eats a lot. Yeah, I eat a lot. Well, the thing is, I have a condition that's called body dysmorphia, Mm -hmm. and I've had it since I was 13 years old. It is a mental disorder um, based on either trauma or genetics, Mm -hmm. and mine is trauma-based. And so what happens with that is the way I look at myself and the way people see me are two different things. Mm -hmm. And I always see myself, unfortunately, as, you know, that show like my 600-pound life, no Mm -hmm. matter how... I look to people when I look at myself, I can always pick something apart. I always feel like I'm overweight. Mm. And so because of that, there are moments <laughs> where it's like, I gotta stop eating. Yeah. And then there are other moments where it's I'm like, about to say, I think I'm hungry. I think I'm hungry. body if that's the case, because I, you feel a certain weight about yourself. No, but but this is, this is like people. different because there can literally be nothing wrong but I will find something. something wrong. Mm-hmm. You understand? Like I yeah. can find something. And so with the average woman, it's like, well, I think I want to lose a few mm-hmm. pounds, but if they don't, they're okay. Right. You know, with me, it's like, no, I've got to lose the, pa- you know, because I see this fold on my wrist and right here. And it may not even really be there. Yes. But how do you deal? How do you deal? I think this is important. I've never actually heard you even no, say that real. you have yeah. body dysmorphia. Mm-hmm. So thank you for that, for a lot of young girls out here. How do you deal with having body dysmorphia where you're being so critical on yourself and you're really kind, you're seeing yourself other than what you actually are, mm-hmm. which is almost the same way it is with commenters. They don't know you. They don't, right. here mm-hmm. he just said you eat. Some people say you don't eat. How do you deal with them reflecting how they think you should look onto you? How do you deal with hearing yourself being hard on you and hearing the commenters? How do you shut it out or how do you do that? See, the... Here's the thing. When I feel I look good, people will comment and say, you're too skinny. You're too skinny. You look yeah, like a yeah, bobblehead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She needs to gain some weight. Mm-hmm. All of that, in my mind, is a compliment. Mm-hmm. So they're mm-hmm. viewing it as, girl, get your life together. I'm seeing bones. And I'm like, really? Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. I look like yeah. a crackhead. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like <laughs> what? <that. laughs> you know, it's like that. Yeah. So... She lost one now. I think she was wild. Don't go that far. The thin, the thin. Yeah, Anybody the thinness, saying the word the thin. thinness yeah. of it? But so when you have, when you're dealing with a person that has body dysmorphia, you're not helping them mm-hmm. by making those type of comments because mm-hmm. their mind works in reverse. Mm. Right. So like, if I had to put anything out there to people, it's like. It doesn't take much to be kind, and you don't know right. what a person's going through. Yeah, mind through. your business. Yeah, just mm-hmm. mind your business. And don't comment on women's weight. And don't comment on it. And then well, looks. I'm period. a diabetic period. too, so like all of that comes into play right. for me. You know what I mean? So it's just kind of like, leave me alone. Let me deal with my issue and try to, you know, work my way through it to the best of my ability, which every day is a struggle. I'm glad you're sharing your story. But me do you too. feel the need to explain yourself just because people comment? 
I have. Mm-hmm. And so once I've explained it, mm-hmm. whatever their comments mm-hmm. are, then that's just, you, you know, do mm-hmm. what you feel you need to do to get it off your chest because that's well, what every, everybody question. feels. How do you fix that? Like, Works. is there a cure you, for that? Is it therapy? No, no, no. no. There's no you, cure. you can go through therapy, mm-hmm. but there is no cure. And so you just have to learn how to manage mm. and retrain your mind mm-hmm. to not overthink and, and really process what you're seeing versus what you feel you see mm-hmm. if that makes any sense mm-hmm. you know what i mean so it's i've been in therapy for years mm-hmm. and I, I still deal with it it never goes away well it, i th- i think you are with me hearing this now that that's your truth i think you are possibly one of the strongest women in reality tv because being on reality tv you are living your whole life there and people are critiquing everything about you, Mm -hmm. your looks included, Mm -hmm. and not only them, you to yourself. You see yourself on camera and it's like, oh, I look bigger. Oh my God, like each season I would drop like 15, 20 pounds because it's like, I'm looking at last season and I see what the weight was. And so now not being in reality TV, is it helping some to where you are just living your own life? You're the owner of it and you don't have that reflection from reality TV, being in the real world of Hollywood now and not in reality world. Well, I think the worlds are synonymous, right? Reality TV, people are still looking at you and mm-hmm. judging. And then when they watch you on a TV show, they're still looking at you and judging. Mm-hmm. But it's same. not as personal because when we see you acting, we could almost think that you could be slimmer Beautiful for the role. role. Right. Yeah. You know, and we don't, they, they get a little less into that because, you know, reality fans are kind of crazy. They really are invested yeah, in you like yeah. they are your sister, your auntie, whatever. I, I think that would be the case if um, I had never done reality TV and if it was always just scripted. Mm-hmm. Then it's like, oh, these are the things she's doing for a role. But because so many people have been yeah. a part of my life already, they know the story. It's like, this was the girl who got her mouth wired in 1993. You've seen yeah, me battle that. this mm-hmm. right. forever. Yeah. It's just that nobody knew what I was actually was. dealing with. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So, yeah, I mean, I just let people do and say what they feel they need to do and say. As and you I should. try, you know, my husband is a good support system for me to try to keep me mm-hmm. just on track. But we think you can't win for lose, though. Yeah, we think you're beautiful yeah. inside Absolutely and out. Like, you know, you're you a are. good person. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people don't know that because they see the reality. Yeah. But as a person outside of that, you are a beautiful person inside out. Me and my wife love you, and love you know you. We, we got a lot of love for you. Yeah. But you can't win for lose though. Sometimes they say you too thin, but then they'll be like, "Oh, Tammy, be photoshopping her ass in pictures." Oh, and I'm, she got fo- a BBL. I'm photoshop. I ain't got no BBL. Okay. But <laughs> I ain't got no BBL. <laughs> I ain't got to say both is what I'm yeah. saying. I'm gonna fix my pictures. <laughs> right. Because if you want to see me in the raw, I got a whole page called Bonnet Chronicles for that. You see that Bonnet. You see that. No, make you get it all how you want to live. But on my page, mm-hmm. it's gonna it's gonna be edited down to the ground. But I do not have a BBL. I did get my ass done. I got some you know shots in my ass way back when, and you know that's I, I'll tell anybody the truth. Mm-hmm. You know I'm right. gonna fix what I feel I need to fix mm-hmm. because of who I am and what I deal with anyway. Mm-hmm. So if I don't like something, I'm gonna fix it. Right. Now, it's good to see Remy and Tammy together, especially this grown evolved version because. Ten years ago, this would be the tag team champion of the world. What? Oh, we, 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 were what? About, we were talking about what? us. I literally just said us together is it, it, this could be something here because this, you know, we're like the same person. We just handle it differently. Right, nah, right. I don't think that's the truth. Because Tam, Tammy's triggered too, right? I, you, you see this new Tammy? No, no. So I was on set with we oh, were on boy. set with Unfaithful, mm. and uh, it's a cheetah show, okay. and. Uh, I'm I'm on a couple of episodes with yes, Tammy helping her that's out. That's my partner. Okay. And this one girl says something to Tammy, and the whole Tammy changed. <laughs> Tammy was motherly, like you know, you need to change this, you need to look out for this. And then Tammy's like, got on the edge like of the chair. What you say? No, because <laughs> she said, you said, "Don't make me get up out." She said that to me, and <laughs> don't You're make me get me. up <laughs> out this chair. So I said, if you get up out that chair, you gonna get what you want. Mm. Right on the edge of the seat like this. <laughs> I dare you. The host then turned. Yeah. Everybody was like, oh my God, Tim, you know. Did I have to be a nice guy? Ma'am, yeah, please don't yeah. get out that chair. Yeah, like, just sit I, there. I don't think you should do that. Just sit right there. When the last time that yeah. happened to you, Rem? When the last time somebody <laughs> talked crazy to you? Yeah. Nobody really talked crazy to me in person. Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. do it like away from me. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm be honest. I haven't really had anybody physically in my face do anything crazy. Do you miss but, it? Um, No, I don't. I'm tired of paying, paying people money. Like, I don't, I don't, I'm, tired. I'm tired of that. I'm tired of, tired of getting locked up. Got to right. go in there and talk to these people. I don't. I don't like that. That's not mm-hmm. cool. But 
I tell people all the time, you can. I've changed. I like I've mm-hmm. changed. It meaning that I've changed the way I react to things, the way, react. The mm-hmm. way that uh, I even receive things. Because certain mm-hmm. things that used to really piss me off doesn't mm-hmm. really bother me as much. Mm-hmm. But be very clear, I'm still the same person. Mm-hmm. And she's like right underneath the surface. Like, <laughs> right. like, not even like deep down inside. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like a paper cut away. I, I nick my hand on the red shit. I'm like, what? what happened? Like, you gotta be very careful. Like, but I feel like I give people respect. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm I'm not a bully. I don't just go mm-hmm. right. if something if somebody mm-hmm. did something, if I'm doing something, somebody did something. Mm-hmm. I'm not that I person. Feel the same like, way. No, yeah. because most of the time it's my reaction people never pay attention to what caused it right right. so Mm -hmm. and i i don't want to say because i don't think i overreact other people think like it's like you step on my foot on my shoe i want to like amputate your whole leg like i don't want to be like oh i'm gonna step on your shoe back like no it's no tit for tat it's like tit for (laughs) (laughs) what jay-z say don't make me do it till you done it because i overdo it Stop you don't get to choose my reaction. People people want to do things to you and be like, oh, but I don't even think it was that serious. You shouldn't have done nothing. But, they but Remy, mm-hmm. serious to you, you have a four-year-old. I love her. That's design. about to start playing oh. sports and go to school. And she's probably going to get into an incident it's like up. all kids do. It's up. I already told her. What does it's up mean? I already <laughs> told her the, the, the meaning of cousins. Because she's where she's at. We live not too far from you. Mm-hmm. She's a wonderful school. But she, she's very close with her cousins that still live in Queens. Just in case. She will tell you quick. I'm a, watch when my cousins come. I'm like, yeah. the, the power of cousins. You got to know how it is. But she's she's so different. She's so sweet. Like she's me without all the trauma that I went through. Because I feel mm. like I was actually a really nice person before the world just started fucking with me and right. I had to prepare mm-hmm. myself mm-hmm. to you know deal with the world. And I think that's a, with a lot of people. A lot of people we don't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's some people that I think started out evil. Let me not say everybody, but. For the most part, most mm-hmm. people start out a certain okay, way. Mm-hmm. And then the things that you go through in life, it tends to make you be like, okay, in order to protect myself from this, this is how I got to mm-hmm. be. Right. Or in order to survive through this, this is how I got to be. Right. Mm-hmm. And a lot of things that I went through in my life, I couldn't be walking around like, hey, hi, you want to make cupcakes? No, it wouldn't mm-hmm. work. Like, mm-hmm. that's 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 just not going to happen. But I do feel like I, me and her, her dad, my husband, we installed, like, you know, all the good things, like, it's so crazy because we talk about it all the time. Like she has no idea that this world is like horrible. Right. And she yeah. literally walks in the store, just throws everything in the cart. She doesn't understand the concept of money. Mm-hmm. She's like, I, I, it's 12 o'clock at night. Come on, I want to have fun. Like go to bed. No, mm-hmm. I need more. Like she just, mm-hmm. See, even fun. that is different mm-hmm. for her to say like, no, it's time to go to bed. Like that's, that's a different Remy yes. than the Remy we know. That, yeah. you know, when she's mommy Remy. Because mm-hmm. me, I'm like, why are you up at 12? Like, yeah. you know, like my kids, my kids mm-hmm. is in the bed at nine and I'm, I'm not playing be, I wanted it. to be a kid for as long as she could be a kid. Yeah. Right. I feel like- You're a gentle uh, parent? Yeah, a lot of, no, I'm not. I'm not one of those like, oh, it, I'm gonna talk to you, go in the corner quiet time. When I do the REM, She's like, fine, fine. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Not fine, fine. You're fine. <laughs> not gonna be pulling out in the mall mm-hmm. doing all of that crazy. Right. That's what we're not doing. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, it's definitely, but, I feel like with me, with my siblings, a lot of my friends that grew up, we all had to grow up mm-hmm. Absolutely. way sooner than right. we mm-hmm. should have. Like, we didn't really get a chance to be a kid. Like, I want mm-hmm. her to be a kid for as long. I want her to play with dolls. Mm-hmm. I want her to watch cartoons. I want her to, you know, have fun. Correct. I don't want her to feel like, because when it happens, it's going to happen. Yeah. That's I don't right. want her to feel that pressure of the world prematurely. Right. Are you I the same with Pilar? I'm the exact same way. And, you know, I mean, I used to be a little tough too back uh-huh. in the day and but having a child my daughter's also four um it just automatically changes something in you you know what i mean like when i i went to anger man- management for like uh, maybe like six sessions out of what i got up from it was i don't the power is given to you as soon as i react mm-hmm. so i almost get like a turn on in order for you to say something to me and me not even react to it. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. my rea- my reactions now, I'll walk away from it's something no being disrespect. Yeah, and I'll get in my car like, yeah, I did that. Even though back in the day I have to show you what I'm gonna do, yeah. me not reacting or handling it a different way, it ch- it's more powerful for me now. So it's it it does that's, and yeah, that's good because I haven't anger management there. classes made me mad. I don't really? know. Well, yeah. see, it did. I used to be in there tight. 
Like, this is stupid. <laughs> Only thing I learned is my physical cues. Now I'd be like, oh, I'm getting tight. My hands are sweating. Why, 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 why did it make you mad? Because they sitting there like, it's 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 just dumb to me. Because she doesn't want to but, but here, I want to be mad. What really makes her angry. <laughs> but see, that's the thing. The first thing mine told me was, your anger, you being pissed, is all an emotion and it's okay. So first you have yeah. to agree with what your body mm -hmm. is doing and what you're feeling yeah. is okay. Then right. you can recognize it. Then you can say, okay, that's a, these are triggers that cause me the to react this way. Like, like, no, my physical cues, because I should just that. be mad. I be sitting there and I be like, oh shit, my hands sweating. Right. Mm. Yeah, it's going down. Nostrils flaring. That's right. Foot tapping. It's up. Yeah. Like, so, I just be so watching So you skip the whole part of, like, I'm chilling. Yeah, just be cool. Just get the whole This is part of that. my parole. I didn't go there because oh. I was going to be trying to make myself. But you learn something. <laughs> sit me there and let, and let me see something. all the stuff that I do before. I Because I used to just be like, well, I go from zero to 100. I really right. don't. I be like, zero. But that's how you stop yourself at 40. 50. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? You really ain't. Like, oh, gosh. I always thought it was zero, so it's really not. Yeah. I'll be gradually getting there. Yeah. And that's how you stop yourself. But that's what she said. said she's not stopping. Once I'm mad, that's it. That's it. That's it. You're supposed to see the cues so you can yeah, know so it's so stopped. Can, you can know. Oh, it's all right, Lord. She's like, a work in progress. She's a work in progress. I'm not working on it. Jesus. Rim like the Incredible Hulk. Like, don't make me angry. I like it. Now, I got to ask. I heard you on JCD talking about when Cardi B changes her profile pick to you. Mm-hmm. When did you see that, and, and, and how does that make you feel? Because you just wake up and all of a sudden, you trending it again. It makes me feel like I really don't be on social media as much as people probably would think I do. Like if I'm posting something, I'm literally in the moment. I'm like, oh yeah, we're all posting, but or somebody's paying me to post. I don't really be. So I just. But why started... did she change it? I don't know. I don't know what's tea because I feel chick, like there was some why. tea rooted in. No, that. she was beefing with with <laughs> Nikki at the time, and when they were beefing, she posted her profile pic. She Rimmy. posted her cousin. She basically she like, don't make me go get yeah, my cousin. She posted cousin. her cousin. But she was. She, po she, was she did what your daughter did. She posted her cousin. <laughs> okay, so that's what I'm saying. She was. Cardi was in support of Remy, like of you, course. Yeah. Okay, got it. Got it. Don't make me call Remy. Got it. I wasn't got even it. doing nothing, like at all. Period. I was like chilling somewhere, minding my own little one too. That's what I do. I mind my business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is interesting though, Rim, because like female rap is like I don't even like to call it female rap, but a lot of women in rap are popping right now. It's a wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's just it's like yo, people thing. would love to hear your voice oh. in the mix. I think that's dope. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> you're not going to say yes? yes I'm it's not like you win anywhere, dope, though. You're, you know what it is? Yeah. If you're not constantly in people's phase and giving mm -hmm. them new music, my thing is I don't feel like that I have to validate myself by doing it. I am who I am. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't count, like, people like, oh, men, men lie, women lie, numbers don't. Oh, men lie, women lie, and numbers don't always mean anything. Yeah, numbers right. lie too now. Mm -hmm. It ain't even that they lie. Mm -hmm. They not always the end all say all. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, you have all the numbers in the world. Like, when everybody know what it, what's up when it come to me, and, yeah. and I'm okay with that. I don't feel like, oh, I gotta drop a project to show people. I got, I'm cool. I'm all right. I live great. I'm cool, calm, collected. Mm -hmm. I look good. I ain't stressed out. Right. Like, these people, be, they be stressed out. Mm -hmm. Music right. will stress you out. Mm -hmm. I be looking at them, I be like, mm, she's stressed. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the stress all in the face. Right. Yeah. Like, you can't. What and, rapper is out right now that you respect? Like, since we are, look, we didn't ask you about five different times where your music at. Who would you say right now could possibly hold a, light, a candle to you? Like, um, possibly. Doja, I, 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 Doja Cat. I don't like. Wow. Talk to the mic. Wow, Talk to the mic. I don't like to hold the candle, <laughs> um, idea, but um, I think everybody in their own respect has mm -hmm. something that I like about them. Yeah. Like, I like, I love actually. I love Lola, Lola mm -hmm. Brooke. Mm -hmm. I, I like her. Like, she's just so energetic and just seems fun, and she's mm -hmm. really like enjoying her moment. Um, I like Glow. Mm -hmm. I like Glorilla. I like um I like Lotto, I like mm -hmm. Spice. Mm -hmm. I like everybody for different reasons. Right. I, I'm st at one point it was a point where it seemed like everybody was doing the exact same thing. Oh, it still and feels it like that a little it's bit. It's starting to, me. to be where you can kinda okay, this is her sound mm -hmm. and this is what she sounds mm -hmm. like and this is what like it's people are starting to carve out their little niches. And and I and I think we need that. i I've, I've never been a hater. I've never been somebody mm -hmm. I've always been like, yo, I don't know no rappers that started out with money. 
Mm -hmm. And we all come from the bottom. So when people be talking about, I got this, we all got money. Mm -hmm. I got a little bit more than us, but we all came from nothing. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. anything that you're doing right now is a plus from where you came from and where you could have been. So I'm just happy to see all of them. I don't really have a favorite because I, when I see them, it's the same love and reciprocate. I'm like, oh my God, I love yeah. you. I hope you're enjoying it. And mm-hmm. I, I'm always trying to, I'm the one that's always trying to make sure you do this. Are you staying on type of this? Save some of your money. Buy a house. Don't like, you know what I'm saying? I try to do some of the things that I wish people would have told me earlier yeah. on. Mm-hmm. And um, that that I think that's what it's about. A lot of times people feel like it's always about who can hold a torch to you or who's competition, who's that. Nah, it's not about that. Like, I wish... I had somebody that came and was like, yo, I see what you're doing. I appreciate it. Yo, let me tell you something. Let me put you with this lawyer real quick. Right. Let me put right. you with this financial right. advisor. Mm-hmm. Yo, are you into stocks and this and this? Maybe you should look into this. Like, just to give people a, a different... But that's people that are secure, right. that, that want to share knowledge and information. When you're insecure, it goes back to how you feel like you got to validate your position and mm-hmm. hold court. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? To make sure people remember, this is what I did. This is how, you But if you, you know. insecure, you probably shouldn't even be in this business because you, you be ready to, but, you read the wrong yes. comment. Yes. Insecure, yes. Insecure, yes. Insecure, insecurity yes. has never stopped anybody. <laughs> you know, it, it, people's just going to get up in there and get in where they fit in. But I think with music in particular, I am hoping that it gets back to that era that I grew up in where everybody had their own yeah, because lane. Because you, you got a rapper in your house. I do. Slash actress. I do. Yes, Jazz. <laughs> hey, shout out to Jazz. <laughs> Who loves you, by the way? You already I know that. I love her too. But, um, in the I, movie with us. Yes, she is. She plays my daughter, okay. Angela. Her daughter plays her daughter. Oh, that's yes. cute. My daughter I plays love my that. Daughter. But the pen game mm-hmm. is what I'm used to with rap and I feel like all the women were sounding the same and twer- it's got to be a twerk situation you know and and I grew up on like Latifah with Unity and Eve with Rough Rider mm-hmm. you know and Light was doing her thing and you know we had all those Lil Kim was sexy you know like we don't have enough diversity mm-hmm. right in women in rap now and I would like to see us get back to you still that. got that though and I think even with some of them looked the part but still can spit like a JT you know what I mean? Like JT can spit to me. Glorilla can, can yeah, spit Glorilla, to me. Yeah, you know what I mean? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Rhapsody, of course. That's the that's yeah, a whole that's another a topic. That's a different thing. Yeah, 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 this is the league of her own. Can you spit you your gum out? You chewing the whole interview? You, you like, until now? The interview almost over. Why are you going to make us spit the interview yeah. out? Spit the gum out now. So, <laughs> all right. Thank, thank, thanks, Rem. So, Rem, when you, when you got, you know, this new industry, it seems like everybody's telling on each other, right? Snitching immediately. When you got locked up, I'm sure you could have told on some people and not did the, the time. No, the fuck I couldn't. Have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who like, else what? was involved? <laughs> what do you think? Involved, that's not even an option. Like, what are you talking about? Okay, maybe not. What do you think about this new world and, and, the, and the snitching and how it, how it goes now? You're crazy. What's wrong with him? <laughs> He's the son of a cop. You gotta know. <laughs> 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 you gotta know what snitching is first. No, oh, I don't. Man. I don't discriminate. There's oh, you're a civilian, so it's not just like you. If you're telling something, you're telling, you're cooperating. That's just that. And I feel like a lot of times people are like, well, you know, they they're a civilian, and they're like, if you a civilian, stay hanging with civilians and be around civilians. Don't be a civilian and hang out with people. That are like that. Don't right. do it. But no, then but try you try to justify what you did because you know y'all know I wasn't really like that. And then people that y'all, this is what y'all do, and y'all in that line no, of work Remy, business, no. keep these people that's really not built like that away from you because when the pressure's on, they gonna fall. And I blame, I blame both parties. You shouldn't have been hanging with them, and you should have had them around you. So you saying don't make yourself a witness. Don't make yourself. Don't even a, be over there. Don't make yourself a witness because mm. now what? Luckily, we live in times where. Witnesses could just walk around, party, post where they at, and mm-hmm. it happens to like, mm-hmm. and I remember a time where your family wouldn't even talk, your family like, uh-uh, we don't deal with him because mm-hmm. they didn't want any problems. Mm-hmm. Whereas you have to protect yourself. And I, and I tell anybody that like that's, cause I can't tell people how to live. You don't know what their situation is. Some people, mm-hmm. they're in certain situations cause that's all they know. That's all mm-hmm. they have. Like you got certain parts of the world where you either gonna be in this gang or you gonna be in the ground like which mm-hmm. side are you on like mm-hmm. that's just the culture that mm-hmm. that they are gr- growing up in and that they're living in all right if that's what it is you got to be smart enough to know that you can't just have anybody in your circle because there will come a time where they're going to be given the option and it's every there's no loyalty there's no codes 
Every man is for themselves. And okay. and a lot of the stuff, unfortunately, that we were taught growing up, mm-hmm. don't snitch, don't do this, don't do that. We was taught wrong. Like they taught that's us, right. like they they really had us jammed up thinking mm-hmm. like, but for most of my life, people, that's why people have this perception of who they think I am because you couldn't show feelings, you couldn't show emotions, mm-hmm. you gotta mm-hmm. hide everything. Mm-hmm. People can only see this part of you or they're gonna try you or whatever. And that's not really how you get through life. Once you see what the world really is outside of the hood, outside mm-hmm. of poverty, you don't need to be like that. You can be vulnerable. Yeah. You can, yeah. you know, express how you are. You can right. move you, accordingly to true. the way the world works. But unfortunately for a lot of people that are like us, that look like us, that's mm-hmm. not their reality. And they getting jammed up and they giving them a whole bunch of time. Mm-hmm. Like I was lucky enough to, you know, do as much time as I did and come home still with a little bit of my sanity, how mm-hmm. much I had before I went in. But, um, a lot of people, they don't make it out. Like mm-hmm. so many people that we don't hear about die in prison, mm-hmm. get mm-hmm. strung out on drugs where they are zombies, mm-hmm. or they come home and never recover and they go mm-hmm. back because you've been ripped out of society for so long, you don't know how to even function. Yeah. Like when I came home, I didn't know how to use a phone. I'd never seen an iPhone in my life. I'd never seen Instagram, Twitter. No, I had to learn all of these things like mm-hmm. on the fly while mm-hmm. I'm in it. That's crazy. So imagine well, somebody telling. who's been- You telling? I'm telling. <laughs> okay. I, f- I feel like if, I'm involved with you mm-hmm. and I know the dirt you're doing. And so I'm clear that I'm a participant in that. Mm-hmm. Something go down, I gotta take my L. Mm-hmm. But if I don't know, and you just kinda- It happened. Mm-hmm. It, something happened and I don't know and now they are trying to jam me up. I'm telling, I'm not going to jail mm-hmm. for some shit that I didn't know I was mm-hmm. even a party to. Like who's gonna do that? So Remy, that's fine, right? <laughs> I thought we were in the world telling. Y'all go to the same corner? I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm the weak. I'm the weak. I'm saying if we if we rolling out together right. and I know that this is what it is and we doing this, even if right. I didn't partake in whatever the crime may be, mm-hmm. but I know and I'm hanging with you and something go down, no, I'm not telling on you. Right. But if we rolling down the car, d- down the road, and I don't know you got couple keys in the back and now they like these your keys i'm like no the fuck they not my keys <laughs> Check the truck. I, yeah i don't know where you're going that's not my shit I'm t- i don't know who it is i may be like this i may be like this i don't know who it is but i know it ain't mine <laughs> <laughs> saying it's not oh, mine well, that's it's not it's the be. same as saying it is. it's hers. Uh-huh. That's what Gunna did. Gunna said like, it's not mine. Gunna was in the car. Like, Gunna okay. said the stuff in the car What's wasn't mine. That? Okay, but th- th- I feel like that's not the same. People have to understand, and then you you have to know your rights. Mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of times people just be scared. Yep, and they be talking, mm-hmm. and the goal. Let me, just, let me just drop something. Y'all. Go ahead. Drop, go, go ahead. Remy, go. The go. goal, because I tell people this all the time, everybody that is in prison is not guilty. Mm-hmm. That's right. The same way that everybody that's walking around these streets is not innocent. Y'all mm-hmm. think all the all the guilty people are in jail right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then how many times have we protested for wrongdoings mm-hmm. and things? You think every cop, every prosecutor, every DA, every judge got it right every time? Mm-hmm. Like every single person that's in jail? So that's the first thing that you need to understand, that everybody is... And it's not always exactly as it happened. Because think about it, when you tell the story, you're gonna try to put it to the way that it favors to you. People don't go in there and tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help them God, they bend it, they mm-hmm. squeeze it out a little bit. Mm-hmm. So a lot of things don't be exactly how it is. Also, their job is to convict. If you look at any DA, any yeah. prosecutor, anything, mm-hmm. the federal government, mm-hmm. their their bragging rights is such and such percentage conviction rate. That's right. right. Mm-hmm. So that means mm-hmm. you don't want a 20% conviction rate. That means you trash. They want the high 99%, mm-hmm. 90% conviction rate. They're not trying to find out if you're innocent or not. They're mm-hmm. trying to get a conviction. That's correct. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And when people understand that, they, they will understand. Like I've seen so many times where people are like, yeah, and and they, they wasn't trying to find the truth. When That's the right. last time you, when mm-hmm. have you ever seen cops with a pen and pad, excuse me, yes, ma'am. Did you see anything of a magnifying glass, mm-hmm. a little hat with the cap on both hands? Mm-hmm. You don't. They sit there and wait for somebody to call them, right. tell them information. They lurk on social media, listen to rap lyrics, all mm-hmm. these different things. They're not doing no real investigation work. 
Like, and, so and what's the gym? What's the what gym? You <laughs> trying, wait, what you trying to convict? Yeah, it's up to you to prove you're innocent. It's, you have to prove yeah. that you're innocent. They don't have to prove that you're guilty. Mm. So you're well, saying mm. because you have to prove that you're innocent, you don't have to snitch on nobody to do it. Yeah. You don't have to tell nobody. Because either way, it's not that. about the truth, the truth. They don't care about mm. the truth. They do not care. They want to convict. I feel it's crazy that you can say I did a crime, you did a crime, and she did a crime. We all did it together. But if she goes and tell them everything that we did, she goes home and we go to jail. That's right. So... But Tammy trying to say she ain't going to jail for nobody. No, we all going. But, I'm, but not if we did the crime together. But, if we did the crime together, mm -hmm. then we just all gonna be up in but, there together. The way but if y'all did the crime works, and I didn't, I'm, I'm the saying way I the didn't. law works, we <laughs> can all do it together. One of us can decide that I'm gonna tell everything. True, right. Uh -huh. I'm gonna go home Immunity. or do a little bit of time. Right. And everybody else. Is yeah, that's not right. Yeah. I'm with how you. is that like? How is that? You have mm -hmm. people out here that be like, yeah, I'm gonna do this, this, and this, and if I get caught, I'm telling. And I'm gonna go home. Yeah. That's yeah, crazy. Would, yeah, that's, that's crazy. not the same. That's that is not what insane. I'm mm -hmm. And that's how it works. The way you speaking on this one particular case, it's clear who they want. Yeah, yes, yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. It's very clear yeah. the person that they want. So you could go, you could go, you could go. And you go home to your kids. You go home to your kids. You go. Home, this who we want. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. And that's justice. Mm -hmm. Nah, I'm right. not. I'm never jacking that. I'm, not, I'm never. I'm never. And people don't never point these things out. They're like, well, they shouldn't have been doing this. You mm -hmm. rich. You should like. Just because you got money, like it's worse when you got money. Mm -hmm. Because what happens when you have money, everybody that you know, you still got cousins that live mm -hmm. in the hood, mm -hmm. siblings that ain't really got, like, people ain't Jeff Bezos rich where they could take their whole family and buy an island somewhere. Mm -hmm. So you still have certain affiliations. And you will be surprised the situations that you get put into because people look at you as a target, as a human ATM machine, and you get jammed up. And if you real and you stand up and you were brought up on certain principles, you gonna find yourself sitting in the courtroom like this, taking the L while everybody else acting like they innocent and acting like they good and living a life. And unfortunately, it mainly affects our community. All I'm hearing is uh, why people uh, highly request Remy Ma to be the co-host on The Breakfast Club. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, we, uh, we tried, <laughs> but Remy, want, Remy wants to know how much we pay him. <laughs> Put the dollar. Up. No, I'm serious. I'm not joking. Remy was like, "Yeah, well, how, how much? How much I got?" That's serious. Like, hold up. Let me, let me tell y'all something. There you go. <laughs> here, it here, it go. here it is. Here it is. Here it is. I did a lot ding, of ding, stuff ding. in my life. Like seriously, mm -hmm. almost everything. And I thought about it. I thought about it with this. Like, damn, is this one of those situations? Almost everything that was life changing in my life, I did for free. Mm -hmm. When I did Annie Ebb remix, I was a teenager. I was straight out of high school. I begged mm -hmm. my A&R to get me the instrumental. I put my verse on that. I was like, just let them hear it. Changed my life. When I did Lean Back, I didn't even have a record deal. We went in the studio. We was at Cali House in Miami. Stole Joe's verse off of it. Put myself on the song. Changed my life. Mm -hmm. When I did All The Way Up, I don't even think we signed paperwork to this day. I might have to call Joe. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. It was just an idea. If it comes out good, we're going to rock with it. If it don't, nobody will never know we did it. Changed my life. All the little times that I was doing Wendy and stuff like that, they pay me, but they ain't pay me, pay me. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Changed my life. So I feel like I paid my dues. I mm -hmm. did a lot of things. Like the reason why people request, because I'm really good at what I do. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is, this is I, I feel like not too many people that look like us. If you look at all the talk show people and the talk show hosts, they're all 50 plus, they melanin challenged. Mm -hmm. They white. Okay. If if they're not they not really swaggy, dress mm -hmm. a little like you know uptight because mm -hmm. they dress how they feel. You're supposed to dress if you're on TV, and ain't really been through nothing. Mm -hmm. I've been I've been I've been married. I've been I've had children. Mm -hmm. I had a kid when I was a teen. I had a mm -hmm. kid since I've been an adult. I've been incarcerated. I've been famous. I've been poor. I've had rich. I've been poor after I was rich. Like, and all of these things are make you. And I'm kind of really smart. A lot of people think rappers mm -hmm. are dumb. They're, we're really not. Well, the whack rappers ones are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're not one. Um, the whack ones. But when you meet the Eminems and the Jay Z's and Absolutely. the Jada Kids, mm -hmm. they are really smart. Absolutely. And they are mm -hmm. also, most of them are really funny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how they come up with. So all of these things, and that's what comprises the amazing. Reminisce that you so see basically the Breakfast Club can't change her life. Right, yeah, right, right. right. So if we, if we want to repair, <laughs> she needs to so break. They can't change your life, or they need to pay so, you what you're worth. But what <laughs> I, first of all, I gotta sit here and look at this guy. <laughs> 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 
Put him on like envy. He got this dog in my house. <laughs> it protects this... your house. Wait, right? you really have a dog in her house? No. Her husband called me one day, was moving to Jersey, and uh -huh. says, hey, you know, sometimes we travel. And I said, well, I have a dog. Let me oh, give you my Lord. dog, lady. Gucci man said that's a punk ass dog. For protection. Y'all got a punk ass <laughs> dog. They got a dog house. to protect the house. <laughs> I didn't understand the purpose okay. of him giving the number for the dog when he had already gave us the number for the security system. Like, <laughs> what is the point? That? It was like, <laughs> it's, it's just a twofer. extra security. Yeah, it's it's, it's extra twofer. They call, that's it. The first thing they, call, they moved to Jersey, I said, this is a good security system. They've got cameras everywhere. You can see it everywhere on the phone. they got motion sensors. They will secure your house. But just in case. By the way, keep my dog. No, I said, just in case you're out of town or Rem's out of town and you want extra protection, mm -hmm. there's a dog that will bite somebody's head off. This dog was kind of dog twenty seven thousand dollars. What kind of dog is it? Well, First of all, it's a, they have a Belgian Malinois. Ah, no, no, okay. we that's what y'all have. We got the common. We have the German Shepherd. Oh, I have a German Shepherd too. No. I, I, oh, okay, so you got the so Shepherd. We got the oh, German, German Shepherd. Okay. Well, the German hey, Shedder is what I like to call that's, it. That's my wife calls it. <laughs> Real quick, Rem, because we gotta go back to something. So you never got paid for none of those classic verses. I got my publishing because I write okay, my okay. Own, my own material and yeah, I got yeah. my royalties. But like as a feature fee, no. Wow. And well, that's a lesson in that. And though. then all the way up and lean back were both my songs. Like mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. always say mm -hmm. Fat Joe's record, but it's actually if you ever look, it's Fat Joe and Remy Ma. Like mm -hmm. it's not a feature. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, and and I was okay with that. Yeah, I was okay with it. And I try to explain to people all the time, like everything is not about. So when they when they was calling me about this, I was like, is this one of those situations where I should just do it? Fine, we talk about something to promote. And I told him I was doing my rap battle thing right. and I wanted to come um, last month before my rap battle came. But I guess y'all had some other whack people on that was nowhere near. Was Nobody told me. us that. <laughs> was, Portia no. was on the schedule. Nobody oh, told us that. Envy. Envy is shady. Nobody told us that. We definitely had room up here. So I'll come, I'll come later on um, yeah, when we have something to up. do. I, I don't anytime like, you want to yeah. come and tell me, you know, anytime you want to come as well. These are my family members. I've known Envy for a very, very long time. Don't tell any old story I'm not, stop I'm thank not, you not. and the same thing with Charlamagne <laughs> I'm gonna tell them he risked my life he had me in the sticks and so it was uh, no Summerton roads. South Carolina it was dirt road what <laughs> Club he New Bob he hired me to do a show <laughs> and I didn't think there was no roads <laughs> no roads like why are we driving on mud roads with juke joint over we going to right now juke joint like that we did didn't have a kitchen flew them to a long spirit. time we talking about like this literally might have been 20 years ago yo yo literally. juke joint but he booked, he booked me somewhere and flew me on Southwest. Oh, Southwest. Southwest. And now you in the was dirt road. Nah, it was oh, it was, it was like 08. It was like 08. It was lit, 07, 08, this was. No, me? Yeah. I was going by then, though. It had was to be it like 05. 05, 06. 05, 06. Yeah. Well, I know you guys got to go. I know you got TV, so y'all got to yeah. get a battle. Yes, 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 yes. So do. please, everybody, don't forget to uh, check out Girl in the Closet, which is on, on Lifetime. Lifetime. March 11th at 8. At mm -hmm. 8, 8 please. Mm -hmm. Check us out. Check us this out. amazing woman and, and all her talents. So are you going to tell them about your production thing and how you have all these movies that you're doing? You I, just, um, I do have all these movies. Yeah, Thank no, you, Oh. <laughs> oh, like she's yeah, making yeah. them. I'm I'm behind the scenes she hired too. Me. You know, yes, I did. Yes. <laughs> We're doing another project together, and then Envy. I can't wait for people to see you uh, this season on. You um, on camera. He yes. is my co-host. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Back on Cheetah. And, and, and yeah, we were so excited to have him. And let me tell you some of the gems he drops because people are like, "Why is he that?" You know, like mm -hmm. or whatever. This dude, like on some for real, like like relationship expert, like. He is the truth of how this can happen in your life, what you should do. Well, he's got and experience. He has experience yeah. in it, mm -hmm. but that's the best place to speak from, mm -hmm. right? Like life experience and the wisdom of all that. And so everybody nah, really not, loves him. Shut up. Be careful on that show. Me? <laughs> 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 I'm playing like it, but I really like be careful. <laughs> no, no, no. It's good. It's good. So yeah, uh, girl in the closet. Girl in the closet. All Next right. Time. Well, thank you guys. It's Tammy Roman. It's Remy Ma. Yeah. And it's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.